Welcome back to week two of four for the community module. I'm Arden Kirkland. Here's what you can expect for this week. This week's lesson will take you through different aspects of using social media to support interaction among members of your online learning community. All of you and all of your eventual learners may have very different comfort levels with social media and varying levels of privacy for different platforms. Some will be resistant to the idea of using social media as part of their instruction, and perhaps for good reason. This should be a big part of the discussion. So far in D4L, we've been using the discussion forums within Moodle to communicate with each other. This is probably the most common form of social media for online learning, and a lot of the time it works just fine. But what if you don't want to use an LMS for your project or you don't have access to one? Or what if your learners aren't as comfortable in such forums as they're in other online environments? Then it may be time to try some other social media platforms. But which ones to choose? We'll have several presentations and reflections in this week's lesson to help you with those choices. After this lesson, there's also a book module with a guide to introduce a variety of social media platforms, grouped by platform type, with a collection of links and cheat sheets. Then the best way for you to fully appreciate the issues at hand is to experience them yourself as a student in this module. And then to think of different ways your students might approach using social media as a part of your instruction. As in week one, you'll need to identify a partner or group to work with for this week's assignment. You'll choose two different social media platforms that you'll use to communicate with each other over the course of the week. If you're already active with some social media platforms, I recommend that you try something new for this module, so your experience is closer to that of your less experienced students. At the end of the week, you'll compare and contrast the two different platforms you tried, putting you in better shape to plan if and how you might use social media in your own instruction. Remember, this is an opportunity to experiment. Depending on the platforms you choose to try, they'll be more or less public, I want you to work with a partner so you make sure that someone is listening to you, responding, and helping you to get more comfortable. This is a chance to role play, posting discussion prompts, and responding to each other as both teacher and student so you can test out how you would work before you do it with real students. You might even have some fun. <laughs> 